guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at packet filtering, also known as stateless firewalls. This is what a TCP IP packet looks like right here. And uh, when it comes to packet filtering, you're basically filtering these packets based on the protocol, the source IP, destination IP, source port, destination port. We're just going to take a look at these stuff in red, and I've summarized them right over here. So packet filtering, stateless firewalls, these are some of the most basic, some of the simplest types of firewalls. And because of that, they're super fast. So if you're looking for something that um, is just going to filter packets super quickly and is not going to take too much resources, uh, analyzing these packets, then packet filtering is going to be the type of firewall that you're going to want. It is good to know that it doesn't check the stuff inside. So if, uh, say, all these rules pass, right, based on uh, the access control list that we'll talk here in a minute, if it does match all the rules and it's, it's allowed into your network, it's not checking the inside. So if there's a piece of malware inside, you know, you're, you're screwed. That's, that's, a, that's a bad, bad. Okay, so you have a uh, packet coming in from another uh, network onto your router, onto your network. So it's coming through the internet, gets onto your router, and then your router sends it over to the firewall. The firewall uh, could be a piece of software, or it can be a external piece of hardware. So once the packet comes in through the internet, goes into your router, router sends it to the firewall, and then the values inside of the TCP uh, packet are gonna get compared against the access control list or the different rules that you've set up for this firewall. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. So you got protocol number six. So what does that mean? You can do a quick Google and you can see the protocol number list. Just Google that and you'll see it'll give you a big list going all the way to 255. And we'll see that number six is TCP. So when it comes to this, you'll say, okay, allow protocol TCP, which we know is number six. And then source IP being 192.168.1.90. So let's take a look at the packet. What's the source IP? 10.0.0.2. Okay, so that does not match. So then it checks rule number two. So it is, um, it, it does matter where these rules are set up. So before you even set up an access control list, you should have a good plan to think about where, where the rules are going to go. Should this be number one? Should this be number two, three? And then, you know, just have a game plan, basically. So let's take a look at the next one. So since rule number one did not apply, didn't match, so we go down to uh, rule number two. So this is, says deny TCP, which we know is TCP, for the source port 10.0.0.2, .2, which uh, it is, it matches. Okay, perfect. Source port any. So this rule says, hey, I'll take any source port, doesn't matter. So then we look at destination address, 192.168.0.2. Let's look at the destination IP, 1.68.0.2. Okay, that matches. Perfect. Uh, destination port has to be this specific destination port, and it does match. Okay, perfect. But then this one says that the time has to be between 5 p.m. and uh, uh, 9 a.m. So any packet coming in from 5 p.m. to 9 a.m. is going to get denied, and that's Monday through Friday. So then here, on based on this rule, you can, or this this won't get denied if it's anywhere between, say, uh, 9.01 a.m. and 4.59 p.m. Monday to Friday. So if there's any packets coming in from those times, then it will get allowed. But this won't get executed if it is, like, say, at 5.30 p.m., right? If it, uh, if it does come in at 5.30 p.m., then this rule does get executed and that packet gets denied and it can't go into your network. So... Let's say it doesn't get denied, right? So let's say this rule doesn't apply. So then it comes back to the third one. Okay, deny TCP packets 10, you know, we know that it, this one matches any, any uh, source port. We know this matches as well. We know this matches as well on Saturday, Sunday. So if this packet comes in at any time, Saturday or Sunday, and it matches these uh, source and destination ports and IPs, then it will get denied. But say it's not on that Saturday and Sunday, so then it goes down to the fourth one. So you'll see here that if it didn't match this, it won't get denied. If it didn't match this, it won't get denied. So if it doesn't match this or this, then it, you will allow TCP packets coming from, you know, same source IPs, any port, same destination IP, same destination port. But at this point, you can just say any because if it didn't match this and it didn't match this, then it must be that this packet was sent at 9.01 a.m. to 
four fifty nine PM on a Monday or Friday, right? So it just it just makes sense. So if they didn't click any of these, then it has to be this. Now let's say that uh, rule number four was not there at all, then there is an implicit deny rule. And obviously you can have way more rules, you know, going down. But um, there is an, an implicit deny rules that firewalls have. So if it doesn't match any of these, it would just automatically deny the the i the, the packet itself and we just say okay they didn't match anything let's go ahead and deny it you'll see some sometimes out there that uh people just to be extra sure they will even though there is already an implicit deny rule they will make a denier that says deny all any all 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 basically just deny everything anything that doesn't match up the above rules just deny everything that would usually be the last rule that a person will have and you can have a bunch of different rules right you can have as many as you want again just remember that it does matter where these rules are are set for example say you had uh, rule number four up here where new rule number two is everything would get allowed and it will never hit rule number two it met this and it's not going to be uh, sent down to the next one because it triggered that rule so that's a uh, packet filtering stateless firewalls very simple like i said these are these are super fast because you're not checking a lot of things and you're not checking inside of the packet itself so you're not analyzing anything um, it doesn't need to know anything about the application itself it doesn't need to know anything just uh, source ip destination ip source port destination port and you know sometimes uh, you'll see some of them not always but you'll see some of them to have you know a certain time of day or or a certain day of the week so you know keep that in mind